everyone welcome back to my channel um, if you're new to my channel my name is Leanna um, and I like to do uh, beauty reviews hauls tutorials uh, beauty and fashion you name it um, I like I'm love all things beauty and fashion so um if you're into that then that's what you'll get from my channel so please come again um, today I wanted to do a video actually um, of a review on a palette um, I feel like this palette has been getting a few mixed reviews and I kind of wanted to come here and just give you guys my thoughts on it um, because I really truly enjoy this palette um, I'm a huge fan and I'm talking about the out great it was upside down you guys could really read that um <laughs> yeah so it's the Alice through the looking glass palette and this is the packaging this is it comes in a box like this and then in the back it actually shows you all the colors it's very I mean I think one of the biggest things that drew me to this palette was actually the packaging I'm not gonna lie you guys I'm a sucker for packaging I've said that in my other videos I love 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 this palette um so uh, I, I don't know if you guys are aware, but the, the first movie that came out, uh, Urban Decay actually did do a collaboration with Disney for the first movie. Um, I believe they came out with two palettes in that line, or it might have been one. Um, but it was, it was different. It was a lot smaller and the packaging was a lot less bulkier. Like I said, I, I enjoy the packaging on this one. It's not something that obviously I'm going to be like logging around. I'm not... A professional makeup artist by any means I'm just passionate about makeup so I'm a bit of a collector if you had to categorize me as anything I would categorize myself as a collector and this is definitely what I would consider a collector's piece so if you enjoy that and you're a collector like myself I think this is definitely a palette for you also I know a lot of people were talking about how the colors seemed very um, colorful and maybe not as versatile so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that and let me tell you guys I received this the day that it came out because I was just way too excited I needed to have this palette in my life and yeah so I went ahead and I purchased it the day that it came out um, so I'll show you qu very quickly the packaging here um, so it opens up like this and then on the inside, obviously, it has the mirror and then some writing, which you could see there. It's stunning. I'm sorry, but this, like, this packaging is just absolutely, like, thoughtful and just very beautiful. Sorry. I'm a huge fan of butterflies, so when I saw this, I think that was, like, the biggest selling point for me. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like a pop-up. Um, yeah, so let's get into the colors. So it slides out like this. Um, it does come with a brush. I have not used the brush, so I can't really give you guys um, any sort of thoughts on the brush. Um, it does seem like it's a good quality brush. It's double-ended. Um, it's very similar, actually, now that I'm looking at it, to the Vice 1 brush that that palette came out with. Um, so yeah, it has the... The fluffy side on one end and then the kind of like compact brush on the other end uh, I like I said I've used the one from the vice palette and I thought that was that one was pretty it's a pretty good brush so I would imagine that this would be equally as good um, so yeah so back to the palette itself and I wanted to kind of go through the colors with you guys and show you some swatches of the um, and give you my thoughts on like the pigmentation and stuff. I think one of the biggest reasons why this palette has been getting mixed reviews is because there are a lot of different shades in this palette and some of them don't live up to the Urban Decay quality um, that we're normally used to when it comes to pigmentation and I think that's really turned a lot of people off. Um, I found some of the colors to be a little bit hard to work with but that doesn't mean that they're not you that you're not able to create beautiful looks with this or that you're not able to like work with this so kind of just want to go through it with you um also another comment or critique that people have about this palette is that they don't see any sort of organization and that's not the case either um if you look closely at it first of all it is divided by characters so a lot of the shades Names are inspired by the characters in the Alice Through the Looking Glass movie. 
So if you look at it, this row here is inspired by Alice. This is her column here. Um, this column right here is inspired by the Mad Hatter. This column here is inspired by the White Queen, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just take a look here. Yes, this is the White Queen. This is the Red Queen, and this is Time. So, and if you could see, they're kind of like very similar in family color. Like the, the Mad Hatter column seems to be the most colorful one of them all. But if you look closely, the other ones are pretty, pretty neutral. You've got some cool tones, a lot of warm tones. Um, I think the palette overall has a lot of variety and you can definitely get away with doing quite a bit of looks with this. Um, this here is a matte shade that I absolutely love for the crease. Um, that shade is called uh, Dormouse. So yeah, so I, I'll, get, I'll go through the colors with you guys. Like I said, um, the columns are divided from the characters and inspired by the characters. Um, and so I'll go and swatch each one for you. So the first one, which is at the top here, this is the Alice column, is called Looking Glass. And it's a pink, it, it's very matte with maybe a slight kind of like silver glitter in it, but it's a pink matte. I like to use this on the brow bone and I'll swatch it for you guys. It's, it has a very satin finish. It's actually quite beautiful. It has a pretty sheen to it. Kind of, It comes off white, so you won't really get much of that pink undertone. Um, the next shade is Reflection. This here. I love this shade. Also a matte for the crease color. It's absolutely stunning as a crease color. And it's like a peachy pink color. I don't know if you'll see it there. It's very similar to my skin tone, so it's kind of hard to see right there. Um, the pigmentation on that one is a little off, like I said. Um, it's buildable, but you really have to work at building that crease color up. As you can see there, I tried another swatch of it there. The next color is Dormouse, which again I said was a great crease color, transition color. And this, I mean, look at the pigmentation on that, you guys. It blends beautifully. It's very good to work with. I absolutely love that shade. Then the last one in that column is Metamorphosis, which is a beautiful, beautiful blue, um, very periwinkle color. Absolutely stunning. It's a matte as well. Um, it does have a bit of a sheen, and this is one of those where the pigmentation lacks quite a bit. I, I hope... I would have hoped that this would be a little bit more. See, you could tell there. I mean, I've swatched that. I've dipped that in like three times already, and that's as good as it's going to get. But this is what, this is how I work with some of these like matte kind of sheen, glittery, fluorescent type of colors. This is not matte. It looks matte on the pan, but it's actually quite fluorescent. It has like a green kind of shift pigment through it. Uh, but what I do, and I actually created a look using that color, is I just used one of the jump, the NYX Jungle Pencils over and then pat the color in, and that seems to, like, pigment the color ten times fold. So if you seem to have the same problem, try to use a similar cream base first and then put the, uh, the shadow on top, and you'll see how the shadow color actually reflects a lot more. Um, the next row is the Mad Hatter row. So I'll start at the top with the green. That green color is just stunning, you guys. Stunning, stunning, stunning color. It's called Hatter, and I'll swatch it for you guys. Again, this is like a matte with sort of like a sheen. I wouldn't really say that any of these are like true mattes. Maybe Chessboard is a true matte and Bandersnatch are true mattes. But other than that, the other colors have 
they want to be like pigmented matte colors, but they're more like sheer shiny color. So they're very difficult to describe. I actually did a blog post on this palette if you guys want a more in-depth um, review of the shades. The next color is Gone Mad. It's this purple here. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful color as well. I, I'm telling you guys, I really thoroughly enjoy this palette. That one is super pigmented as you can see. No trouble blending that out or working with this color at all. Um, the next color is probably my all-time favorite of this entire palette. It's called Paradox. It's just a beautiful orange peach uh, shift color and the pigmentation of this is bomb.com. I mean, look how beautiful that is. I mean, that swatch is not even doing it justice, you guys. Yeah, the lighting in here is totally washing that out, but it is gorgeous. The next one is Cake, which is a fuchsia pink. This is also not matte. It is very, um, it has like silver purple, like iridescence in it. You could see it there. I mean, look at that shift, you guys. It's so, so stunning. Love that color. So the next row is the White Queen row. And we'll start with Lily. Lily is my all-time favorite color. Lily's right here for the brow bone. It's just so beautiful. It has a pink. It also, again, looks matte. You can see it there. It looks matte, but it has a pink shift going through it, which is just, oh my, it's so beautiful. You guys could see it there. That's just so stunning. Um, the next color is Duchess, which is a beautiful, beautiful lid color, you guys. I use this on my lid all the time. I, you could tell I've dipped a lot of brush into these. I've had this palette already for about a month. So this is Duchess. Again, another beautiful sheen, uh, almost like glittery, but not really glittery because it has quite good pigmentation to be a glitter. More of like a satin iridescent sheen to it. The next one is Kingdom, which is this brown here. Love using this brown as a transition color as well. This one does have a lot of like metallic reflect in it. So, I mean, if you guys like reflective metallic -y shadows, this palette is definitely for you. It's it's definitely, definitely very reflective. Um, the next one is Chessboard. I think, like I said, Chessboard is a true matte. It's right there. Um, and you can see it on my finger there. Beautiful chocolatey transitional shade. I mean, perfect for the crease, you guys name it. It's stunning. Um, the next row is the Red Queens row. And I'll start off with Heads Will Roll, which I gotta tell you guys, I'm a huge teal fan, like teal colors in general. So this shade is by far my favorite shade of this palette. And I love it. I've done also uh, a tutorial uh, with this shade. And I'll swatch it for you guys. I'm running out of room here. Let's swatch it right here. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a gorgeous color. It has it all. It has pigmentation. It's matte, but with some iridescent color in it. It's just so difficult to describe. The next one is Bandersnatch, which is this dark royal blue here. Another color, super pigmented. Absolutely beautiful to work with, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful shade. The next shade is Zalasar Grum, which you guys, just look at that. I mean, look at that. It's stunning, stunning red. Look at that. I mean, just those two shades alone, guys, if it doesn't make you want this palette, I don't know what will. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely a palette that will suit a certain type of taste. I, I understand that. But I, I just, I'm totally blown away by this palette. I know a lot of people, like I said, have mixed reviews about it. The next one's Royal Flush. This color really could have done without. I don't like this color at all. The pigmentation is lacking. It's very glittery. I'll try to show you guys. I mean, maybe if you put a cream underneath it, okay, look, it's completely just washing out. I'm trying here, you guys. 
it does have a lot of sheen to it. Um, and it's quite glittery. I would recommend applying this with your finger, actually. Actually, applying it with my finger looked a lot better than trying to apply it with, with a brush. So that's a tip for you guys there. Um, sometimes colors will apply a lot better when you pat them on with your actual finger. And I'm actually wearing, my the look to, that I'm wearing today is actually with all of the colors in this palette. So um, as you can see, it's a pretty wearable look. I know a lot of people say that they can't get wearable looks from this because it's such a colorful palette, but I don't find that to be the case at all. Um, so last row, you guys, um, this is Time, the Time inspired by Time. And the very first is very appropriately named Time, the very first shade here. And it's like a midnight blue. I know it looks black, but it really isn't black. Um, and it, it will come off black on my hand as well. But once you build it up, you can see like that navy shift in it. You won't be able to see it with my lining. But I promise you guys, it does have like an underlay of navy. You can see it in the pan there. This next color, Dream On, is again not one of my favorites. The only way that I like to wear this color is with a black base underneath. If you put down a black, a cream base underneath and then this on top, it's it makes the color pop so much so much you guys this this color is a true glitter so it will not not show up at all it's right there you can see it's very glittery um the next shade is chronosphere which is a beautiful bronze brown color oh my god this color is stunning you guys this color and this color are among the most pigmented in this palette you can see right there i barely even touched that i mean that is stunning, stunning, gorgeous. Um, and the very last color is Humor, which is this silver here. I have that in, if you could see, on the outer corners of my eyes here. That's that color there. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful gray, steel, uh, silver gray um, with slate. Right there with a slight hint of like sheen to it. It's really stunning. So as you guys can see, I mean, this is like, this is true to the colors right here, you guys. This is how they're gonna come off. And like I said, yeah, you know, some of them do lack in pigmentation and it's true. They're not gonna try to sell you guys on this palette, you know, but I truly do enjoy the co color combinations in this. And I mean, for the value, this palette is $60 and you get 20 shades. I think that value is incredible. You're getting $3 per shade. It's like every, each shade to, for $3, which is incredible because I think one of these uh, shadows alone is like $18. Um, I'll link everything below for you guys um, and double check on that price. But yeah, I mean, it's a great, great value and you can get some pretty awesome looks from this. If you guys are interested in seeing some tutorials, like I said, what what's on my eyes today, and you can see it there, are all shades from this palette. And I actually did not use any creams for this look. So you could just tell what the pigmentation will look like. Um, so yeah, um, give me your thoughts on this palette below. Comment below and tell me what you liked, what you picked up from this collection. I actually only picked up the palette and one lipstick um the lipstick in alice which is like an iridescent really sheer sheer color but i just i was mesmerized by it i think it's actually very very beautiful uh i love i'm you know you guys know i'm a huge matte lipstick fan but once in a while i will go sheer and glossy so i really enjoyed that alice lipstick so yeah guys uh that's my review of the alice really looking glass palette i hope you enjoyed it i'm um, sorry if it was a little bit too long it's a lot to discuss um and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did give me a big thumbs up um if you want to see more please subscribe and leave me a comment below let me know what your your guys thoughts were on that all right ha hope you have a great day and i'll see you in my next one bye